Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ramadan Mubarak, Ramadan Kareem. I hope you're all well. Ramadan Mubarak has started, mashallah. <coughs> it just felt yesterday finished. It's already back on our doorstep and mashallah in our homes. And here we are, alhamdulillah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give all of us, every single man, every single woman, child, young, old, whoever we are, wherever we are, Allah ta'ala make Ramadan Mubarak the best Ramadan of our life. It, when I mean the best, that Allah make it a means of us becoming closer to Him and becoming true servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And by the time Ramadan finishes, our, we are completely clean and pure and purified and Allah has cleansed us from all our sins. And we, in our eyes, Allah has become the greatest. In our eyes, in our heart has been cleaned to such an extent that every, with every heartbeat, it's only Allah, Allah, Allah. With every heartbeat, nothing but Allah, Allah, Allah. So brothers and sisters, many people, as Ramadan was approaching, even a few days ago, people said, Ramadan is coming, 20 hours fasting, how are we going to do it? Listen folks, there's nothing to worry about at all. Allah is a gift from Allah and Allah will look after us. Try fasting on a normal day, it's so difficult. But in Ramadan, Allah gives you that energy, Allah gives you that himmat, Allah gives you the power to fast. It's all from Allah and honestly, nothing to worry about inshallah. Allah will look after us, Allah will care for us. First few days, we might get a few headaches, we might get a few aches and pains here and there, stomachs might start rumbling a little bit. But you know what, even if we do feel a bit peckish, even if we do a bit hungry, we do get a few headaches, it's all for Allah. So a bit of headache, reward from Allah. A bit of hunger, reward from Allah. A bit of thirst, reward from Allah. Everything is going to be rewarded. So as mu'min, as Muslims, we're always winners. We're always winners. This first Ashad has started, today is the first of Ramadan, Mubarak. Brothers and sisters, don't say we're going to wait for Laylatul Qadr, 27th night, and then we'll do Tuba. No, let's start our Tuba today. Every single day in the month of Ramadan, a mu'min's, um, <coughs> a mu'min's Dua is accepted. And when we make Dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make a Dua like a child cries before a parent. When they want something, they make the tantrum, they cry and they cry and they cry until the parent gives it. We also cry and cry and cry. Ask Allah for dunya, ask Allah for akhirat, ask Allah for everything. Have a conversation with Allah, talk to Him and ask Allah to forgive us for all our sins. Shaitan is locked away. It's a fantastic opportunity for every single one of us to become closer to Allah. Honestly, don't leave it to the last day. We're not sure that we're going to be around to the end of Ramadan. We're not sure we're going to be around for next Ramadan. We're not sure we're going to be around in 20, 30 years to say when we become old, we'll do Tawbah. Do Tawbah now. The reward for Tarabi briefly, one such that you make it before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah gives you a palace made out of red ruby, attached to it 60,000 doors, with each door a palace made out of gold for one such that in Tarabi salah. So much reward Allah ta'ala gives. This is unimaginable reward. It is unimaginable reward. At the end of it, Allah says, Allah I give you myself for a personal fast in the month of Ramadan. So brothers and sisters, Enjoy it, make the best of it, bring taqwa and tahalat in your life and make yourselves closer to Allah Ta'ala. This is what we want to achieve in this month, in the year 2014, inshaAllah Ta'ala, in the month of Ramadan. Bring ourselves closer to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Last year we started <coughs> um, the Live the Sunnah campaign. We've done 18 and, and we've got the 19th Sunnah which I want to merge in this video. This is Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam said that try to give iftari feed somebody or gives iftari to somebody and the reward of that is that Allah Ta'ala forgives their sins and Allah Ta'ala frees them from the fire of Jahannam and they get a reward, same reward of the person who they're feeding. So the Sahaba said, Ya Rasulullah, it's not possible for us, you know, we don't all have the means to give food to somebody <coughs> for them to do iftari. But Rasulullah Sallallahu said, it doesn't mean that you it doesn't mean that you have to feed them with a full stomach. Whatever it is, even if it's a date, kajur it's sufficient. So brothers and sisters, what I can say is that if we can't do much ourselves, then in the month of Ramadan, brothers and sisters, is give people in the iftari, inshallah, it will be very, very beneficial. Lastly, is that lots of Quran as much as we can, lots of dua, and stay away from sins. Stay away from sins as much as we can. Keep ourselves. We do one Quran khatam, alhamdulillah. Okay, and we stayed away from sins. We've done 15 Quran Khatams, but we're backbiting, we're talking about this, we're talking about that, we're talking about dunya. Forget it, let's, let's one month focus between us 